What the flippity frick is going on, you freaking nerds? It's your boy DippleGibbon101 here, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know I've uh, not uploaded a video in around two months, but I'm back. I um, also don't know why I haven't been uploading, but tis a season to be jolly. I wanted to react to Bobby Bass, your mean one, Mr. Grinch. We're always on the bass grind, mainly because... It's my passion now. <laughs> I've been trying to uh, get my bass down and everything for a little bit. And so, yeah, I just like bass, all right? I don't know if I'd consider myself a bass or not, but eh, more of a, <laughs> in the words of Jeff Castellucci, I'm more of a baritone with a bass range. Uh, so, yeah, let's get going and enough chit-chat. Let's do this. <laughs> I've seen this a few times, by the way. Uh, and by a few, I mean like two fucking hundred. But yeah. Uh, give it a second. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. You really are a shit. Sorry to pause at the very beginning. <laughs> very sorry about that. But I originally actually thought that the voice he's speaking in the, speaking into this, you're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. I thought it was actually the second uh, octave, but it's actually the third. But with a little bit of mix between the second and the third, like back and forth, like RTS bass, uh, love the guy. Um fucking hits amazing lows um but i think it's a mix of both if i'm completely honest so at 17 seconds you're as cuddly as a cactus you're as charming as an eel mr eel yeah i don't know i think it's third you're a bad banana i don't know but yeah eel mr green you're a bad banana with a greasy black peel. Again, sorry to pause, but I have also been watch re-watching my uh, reaction to voice play stuff. And I'm very disappointed in myself because in the Metallica cover, I didn't even realize there was an E1 subharmonic in there. Because I was so new to it. But... I'm very embarrassed to fucking even say that because I fucking love E1 subharmonics. My favorite note, I don't know if I can hit it like with my chest voice or like even subharmonic. I'm getting lower, but practice makes perfect and it's a time thingy. I just keep straining my voice to get lower and shit. It's just taking forever. Like, um... I don't even I don't even remember the note. I'll put it in right here. Little bit of an editor's note. I am not actually going to add the clip in from voice play of the E1 in Metallica, mainly because copyright stuff. But apparently Jeff hit a smooth E1 right when Lane got tossed the violin, you know, the part that everybody knows I react to just what the fuck? Whoa! Like that shit. Yeah. Apparently there's one right before he's like like that. So yeah, you're welcome. Alright. Uh now that you know that, yeah, it's fucking crazy, I know. But yeah, we're gonna continue this reaction. <laughs> You're a monster, Mr. Grinch. You're a monster, Mr. Grinch. 37 seconds. So, A1 slided. Damn. Your heart's an empty hole. Your brain is full of spiders. You've got garlic in your soul, Mr. Grinch. Slide down. I wouldn't touch you with a 39 and a half foot pole. F1 subharmonic, fucking crazy. I want to touch you with a 39 and a half a pole. Pole. Yeah, I, I still can't hit that. Like, F1 and E1 subharmonics are the best crispy sounding subharmonics that are within, like, the fucking, the, sorry for swearing so much, within the first octave. 
the zero octave is a whole nother thing, bro. Like C zeros, B zeros, A zeros. I thought B zeros were freaking immaculate until I heard A zero and how much it sounds more beastly. Like, um, the B zero is like, oh, and A zero is like, uh, like, it's crazy. I wouldn't touch you with a 39 and a half foot pole. You're a vile one. Why is he creeping up on the tree? Oh god, that tree. You didn't ask for consent, Bobby. <laughs> I wouldn't touch you with a 39 and a half foot pole. I don't even... I honestly don't even know what that was. Um, One second, I'm gonna... Uh, not cut this out, actually. Chromatic tuner. Oh, I just saw it. Uh, there. It's right here. Um, thirty-nine and a half a pole. Pole. I'm getting mainly a lot of cracking and popping in my voice because I'm not really used to it. But hopefully one day, one day. It will be amazing. Um, yeah. Oh, my, uh, <laughs> sorry so much about pausing consistently, but my subharmonics have gotten better. I think the average I could do is anywhere between E1, like E2 and an F2 subharmonic. Like, uh, oh, I can't do that. Uh, I don't even know. I don't even know if that was a subharmonic, but eh. You're a vile one, <laughs> Mr. Grinch. You have termites in your smile. You have all the tender sweetness of a seasick crocodile, Mr. Grinch. Given the choice between the two of you, I'd take the seasick crocodile. You're a foul one, Mr. Grinch. You're a nasty, wasty skunk. Your heart is full of unwashed socks. Your soul is full of gunk, Mr. Grinch. The three words that best describe you are as follows, and I quote, Stink, stank, stunk. Alright, so RTS coming in clutch again. Um... What's funny about that stink, stink, stunk is it is a D3, E2, and F1. You can't really see that, but if you just look up the video, his comments will be like the third right here. Um, and so, yeah, f very, very interesting way to uh, do notes. Um, yeah, I gotta admit, it's impressive though. Stink, stink, stunk. It's weird. You're a rotter, Mr. Grinch. You're the king of sinful socks. Your heart's a dead tomato splotched with moldy purple spots, Mr. Grinch. Your soul is an appalling dump heap, overflowing with the most disgraceful assortment of deplorable rubbish imaginable, mangled up and tangled up now. Mr. Grinch with a nauseous super nos. You're a crooked jerky jockey and you drive a crooked house, Mr. Grinch. You're a three decker sauerkraut and toadstool sandwich with arsenic sauce. Yeah, no, I definitely really love uh, Bobby Basses and the Bass Gang. I've been recently listening to them, and I prepare for some reactions on the Bass Gang. I just got so much to react to now. I got the Bass Gang. The Bass Gang. They came out with Volume Three, which is completely Disney songs. Like there was Gaston 
Be Prepared, Arabian Nights, and Friend Like Me from Aladdin. I think that's the name. And um, I know Jeff Castellucci has also recorded some phenomenal stuff recently, like Blue Christmas. Fudge, what else has he... Um, if we're talking about Christmas-related, he has done a All I Want for Christmas is You. Oh, also the bass game did that, but he did a short of it. Um, I just got so much stuff to react to, dude. It's definitely going to be a grind, got to be honest. But yeah, since everybody got mad at me for not watching the end credits of the Jeff Castellucci, uh, Man of Constant Sorrow, we're going to watch the end credits of this because I know there is some. Hey guys, thank you for checking out this music video. This one has been a long time coming, so I'm very happy to finally have shared this with you guys. Uh, now, if you want to see more content like this, more music videos, more super bass stuff, uh, and a way to support me, check out my Patreon for bonus content, early access, all of that stuff. Now, thanks again for stopping by, and happy holidays. Happy holidays, Bobby. I know this was a year ago. Almost. But yeah, happy holidays, man. Uh, yeah, fudging, uh, what else was I gonna say? Uh, oh yeah, um, I've been kind of working my way fiddling around with Audacity. Um, I, here, I can, I can just share something with you guys. One second, hang on a sec, just so you don't see my private information. Um, let's see here. Um, yeah, I've been messing around on Audacity, basically, uh, trying to no. figure some stuff out, and I was curious if you guys would actually like a cover video from me, or like any type of cover song that you request that's like bass related, I'll try my fucking best, I will definitely ruin my voice, because my voice is not used to anything just yet. But, uh, yeah, no, I'd be definitely down to do some, like, uh, covers. Just let me know in the comments what you want to hear. And so, yeah, let's, uh, show this. And this is my audacity. What was this again? Never. Oh, yeah, this was Hoist the Colors. I, sorry, it's so loud. <laughs> I still don't know how to work my way around this fully. Never shall we die. I definitely bass boosted that. Not even positive that's an F1. Uh, I don't even, I think it's more like a, uh, I want to say a C something, but I'm not positive about that. So, yeah, I got a long way to go. <laughs> but I do like the bass feature on this. Never shall we die. I wish my voice was actually that bass boosted. But yes, there's no, uh, like, vocal shit on this. It is just bass boosted at the end. But it's like, Never shall we die. Yeah. Never shall we die. I think there's an original I have. Hang on. You're not supposed to see that shit. Uh, hang on one second. Uh, not that there's anything. It's just I don't want you guys to see my private documents. Uh, I don't... <sighs> what is this one? Country base? Hang on one seconds. What is this? Oh, well, I guess that one's not wanting to work. I got Inhale, which I think is pretty cool. Hail my sublimation, my lord. I don't even know what that is. Let me know. But yeah, um, like I said, if you guys want me to do covers, let me know. I'll definitely try my best, but yeah, that was a reaction to You're a Mean One, Mr. Grinch, by Bobby Bass, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.